Well, let's return to President Barack Obama and his decision to close the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center. In a speech in Washington, he said the military camp has damaged America's national security and acted as a rallying cry for the country's enemies. Gene Healy is vice president of the Cato Institute, a leading think tank in Washington. He joins us now. Um, Mr. Healy, President Obama still, however, doesn't seem to have a detailed plan for what to do with the Guantanamo Bay suspects. No, uh, and he's run into some trouble uh, with that uh, here in Washington, D.C. Uh, Obama's speech was followed immediately after by a uh, sharp critique from former Vice President Cheney. And uh, the odd thing about the debate here in Washington, D.C. is that it, it seems to be based around the narcissism of small differences. Uh, what, what people don't seem to realize is that the Obama war on terror policies are substantially the same as the Bush-Cheney policies. There's just different rhetoric surrounding them. There's more hope and less chest thumping. But when you get down to the actual uh, substance, you're talking about very similar policies. And of course the Senate, which is Democrat controlled, has blocked funds to close Guantanamo. How serious is that for the president? Well, I, I think it's a setback. Uh, it does seem to be, uh, it, it, it does show show up a little bit of the ridiculousness of the debate, the idea that uh, uh, terrorists can break out of supermax uh, high security U.S. prison facilities. We already have uh, a, a number of, te of Islamic terrorists housed in uh, the United States and uh, I hadn't heard anyone suggest uh, before now that it was uh, that it was a grave danger to the American people. In, with America mired like most of the rest of the world in, in great economic troubles, I mean, how great are the fears that the president may lose his grip on national security in the sense that he may end up releasing some of these terrorist suspects on American soil? Well, I, I think the, the 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 fear seems to be fairly high. I, I don't think there's much substance behind it. I think uh, w one of the things that, uh, one of the, though m many of the, the war on terror policies that Obama is pursuing are the same, one thing he has done which is helpful is try to ratchet down the rhetoric a bit. And uh, there you, you see, for example, less use of the phrase war on terror. And he is not trying to uh, encourage a garrison state mentality. Uh, but uh, as we see in the debate over what to do with Guantanamo, there are uh, folks uh, on, on both sides of the aisles that, that, that have uh, some interest in stoking that sort of fear. Gene Healy, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks for having me on.